Hello guys, today is a happy day. Not really, because I'm kind of thinking about some stuff. So, story move. Let's read this. Let Losing a Pet, the story of my dog, Leo. I had to correct myself, because I thought he said Lego. One of the first things I saw when I was born was my dog, Leo. He was a golden retriever, and he had, like, long hair and all saggy. He was really adorable. And from, like, the first moment I really ever saw him in my this life, is real. I was just connected to him. Okay. We did everything together. We played catch, we rolled in mud, we'd <laughs> make forts and sit in them all day and watch movies together, and we'd go camping with my dad. He was always with me and followed me everywhere I went. He's about to make me cry. When we got older, he started getting sick and tired, and we couldn't play the way we used to anymore. And that made me really upset, but I still loved him like I always had. Mommy and my dog. My mom wouldn't let me stay home from school, and I just decided that, you know, I'd be with him. We played ball, we played King Leo, we did all the things that I used to do with him. And I just had a smile on my face when I was going to bed. And I was like really happy and thinking of like tomorrow to play with him. In the middle of the night, um, my mom woke me up. She had like tears and she told me that Leo was dying in a vet. And um, I was like panicking. I was running around the room in circles. I asked if I could go say like goodbye to him basically, but he was really far away and my dad brought him. So when my dad finally got back, he broke the news. Um, Leo was dead, and I was just really, really upset. I stopped crying for like two minutes, and then I started, started crying again. And I finally started falling asleep. I kept glancing at the spot he usually um, slept at, and um, he just wasn't there. The next day, I just kept crying. I didn't go to school. I was so upset. And when we were standing at the grave, I was just crying because like, I'd never see him again. It was just really hard because, like, the fact kept running through my head that he's not here anymore. Oh, God, bro. I still miss him and walk in sometimes forgetting that he's not alive anymore and expecting to see him. But not by now, he's basically still here in my heart. Uh, this is my new dog, Ben, here. That's my dog. Yeah. He's super like me, but. Hey, buddy. <laughs> My dog Roscoe had died back in last night. I didn't show him because I don't know, I didn't have enough time to, but I can show y'all pictures of him, but he had died. We have to put it out, but there's only one thing that bothers me. And that's how I got four subscribers, right? Whoever's watching this, I'm sorry if I'm mean, you know, cry, but my granddaddy passed away a while ago. I lost two of them. But my main one died in September of 2019. That was like my, I love, I love my granddaddy a lot. And on my old channel, I never had the chance to show him what I'm able to do on YouTube. So, sadly, he'll never be able to see how good I am at doing these videos. He'll never be able to see that. Because it was the first birthday I had without him being around. And basically, he would call me on my birthday and um, all types of stuff. But he's not here no more. 